Hello and welcome to Sensei Podcast. This is Manos Brilakis discussing with leaders in the field of CTO and Complex PCI. Sensei means teacher or master in Japanese. The goal of the Sensei Podcast is to help you learn and improve in CTO and Complex PCI so that you can become the best that you can be and offer your patients the best possible results. Hello and welcome to Sensei Podcast. It is my great pleasure to introduce Dr. Roberto Garbo, a good friend and world-renowned CTO operator, who is the director of uh, Complex Interventions and CTO Interventions at Maria Pia Hospital in Turin, Italy. He's also on the board of the Euro CTO Club and also organizes the Turin Chip and CTO meeting. So a very busy man. Roberto, thanks again for being with us today. Uh, thank you, Manos. It's a great pleasure for me to be a part of your uh of your Sensei podcast. It's a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto. And again, you've been one of the key people in Europe and around the world to teach this and learn this. But I always like to start with the beginning. How did this happen for you? Did you always knew that you wanted to become a city operator? Did something make you change your mind or uh, get the motivation? How did this happen? Yeah, it was a yeah, long story of uh, many years ago. I think that uh, like 15 years ago, and uh, I was yeah I was very young director of the cat lab in uh, San Giovanni Bosco Hospital and uh, uh, we decided to it was you know the beginning of uh, of CTO new era by Japanese operator and uh, we had the pleasure to invite uh, uh, Masaiko Chi, um, Chiai in Turin for uh, some small workshop you know there were like uh, five or six people in the cat lab. And uh, I was so excited when I was able to see him uh, because was a, I think that it was in 2006, the first uh, period of retrograde CTO PCI. And so I decided that, that uh, I would like to try to, uh, to learn uh, this kind of complex uh, uh, PCI because uh, I was, you know, uh, something that was so complex, but so exciting when you succeed in opening a complex PCI. Uh, uh, long uh, CTO uh, artery and uh, to have uh, uh, for our patient, you know, uh, patient that uh, they are uh, suffering for uh, effort angina for many years and they have a long uh, occlusion. This was a really, really good stuff for them. And then that was the early days, right? Before everyone knew the techniques, it was very, very early. So how did you learn? Was it through proctoring? People came over? Did you go somewhere? How did that happen? Yeah, this is a, a very very good question. That was I'm going I'm going to tell uh, every day to the, the the young physician that I'm going to proctor. That uh, for me was you know uh, they were a sort of pioneer in the in the field, and uh, we try to to uh, to to learn from uh, from Japanese that we have uh, like every four months uh, Japanese operator coming in Italy uh, with the help. With the help of uh, of company, with the help of uh, Azai company and Terumo that uh, bring us in Italy uh, the Japanese operator, and we try to you know uh, to look for because it's uh, they were not able to 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 teach a lot, so we were able to to look uh, their progress, uh, and uh, I start to uh, to 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 understand uh, the new material. Uh, and I have no uh, a, a real proctor like uh, we are now for, for for young physicians. So I think it was m- much more complex, and but much more exciting for us. And then I try I have the 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 great advantage to have a chief that believes in uh, in the program and push me to do the to do the, this case. And so with the help, even with Andrea, you know that I'm working with Andrea Gagnon. We are great friend together, and we were able to. Uh, to study together the the new development of uh, CTO PCI, and uh, we went on to to do uh, our own this case, and we we learn we learn a bit uh, to, to do better and sure. better, and and then we were able to see even I think that was it's even your 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 feeling that uh, from uh, we were able to see that even the the expert. They learn about uh, with proctoring. So uh, I, I was able to see that after six months, the, the Japanese completely changed 
their mind. So we have they have a new approach, different approach, completely different from the previous session. So we understand that it's really important to study a lot and that we understand the importance of uh, imaging. So to, uh, to use IVUS, to understand IVUS, that is uh, even really, really important for uh, uh, every case of complex PCI. And, uh, and this was a sort of, you know, a progress uh, day by day that uh, bring us. And then I start proctoring in Italy. I started in 2010 proctoring in Italy. And uh, every day that I, I was proctoring a new cat lab, uh, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from every case. And then I was, uh, uh, when I finished the case, I was thinking about uh, all, all the passage of the case, all the step of the case, and try to to be better for the for the in the future. So it looks like one of the best ways to learn it is to teach it, right? Then you actually learn even better because you have to explain it in concrete terms for the other person to understand. And obviously, Italy has a long tradition of uh, PCI in general and CTO PCI as well with. You know, you, uh, Antonio uh, Colombo and Mauro Carlino and all the techniques that have been developed. So, how is the how was the environment? You said I you know obviously Andrea uh, and yourself, Gainer, you've been an amazing team. You know, helping each other and creating amazing things together. How important was that in you learning to do CTO PCI and building the programs? Yeah, this was uh, really really important because then we understand that uh, uh, even it's important in your cat lab you uh, create a great atmosphere even with the nurse, with the technician, and with the colleagues sure. because we need you know that we know that we cannot do uh, everything by ourselves. We need a team and uh, uh, we need the help of of, of physician because uh, uh, doing complex case we need to be at least two in the uh, on the table. And then we need uh, even uh, uh, we have a sort of excitement even for the nurse uh, uh, that were able to to help us to to build this team because you can have you, you know you have you can have complications so uh, everybody needs to be ready to solve this complication and we need to have a, a great toolbox in the calba on the shelf so uh, the possibility we we start from uh, I think that it was. Uh, I, I, uh, I have a presentation in the Euro CTO meeting, I think 2008 or 2009, with the first case of coiling a perforation. And uh, uh, because I learned from uh, the interventional radiologist we, have, we had in the hospital in Turin, uh, how to use uh, detachable coils. So it was the first time that uh, everybody, I think, uh, I remember that was, uh, there was uh, even Bill Lombardi on the, uh, on that congress and uh, he congratulated with me that uh, I was able to use this kind of uh, new coil and to solve the problem because uh, we had the perforation of the obtuse marginal branch and even with the help of uh, my colleagues that was a neuroradiologist they were used to use this kind of uh, detachable coil and we in the cat lab were not able normally to use so is a is a sort of a, a progress every day and then we know that uh, doing CTO you are a better operator so uh, even in complex PCI and uh, that is what uh, I'm going to teach to uh, uh, all the younger physician that uh, uh, and this is something that they 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 told me so uh, one of the best uh, um, compliment they give me said is that they say, uh, I thought to be a great operator, but I understand that now I'm much better than before because you uh, learning CTO technique, learning about CTO device, you are able to, to be a better operator in the uh, everyday uh, treatment of complex PCI, even in non-CTO setting. No, absolutely. And I, I must say, you know, having been to your cath lab, I was extremely impressed by how you know, the people were moving very well, very coordinated, taking care of very challenging situations, handling pressures, truly a very experienced team. You can tell that they care about the patient and they're very organized in how they approach it. And I didn't know about the coil. Uh, I assumed that it was something else. So, again, a great way to kind of merge the different specialties and be able to, um, you know, create something new. And I know you've done a lot of work on the publications uh, as well on the city of field. So how, uh, what motivated you to publish some of those cases? You had some great cases about dealing with perforations, dealing with osteo lesions, other complex subgroups. How, how do you balance that and how important has that been for your learning in city of PCI? 
Yeah, this is a, a very important point that uh, uh, even when uh, when you are doing this kind of comp, and I think that uh, is it, interesting that uh, you try to do something uh, new and you want to 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 show to the other people that you are able to do that, like you you are you you do every day in your in your uh, in your great great job that you perform manos and uh, with your manual and that uh, uh, that you, you you understand that people needs to 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 be uh, to that you need to teach uh, to that uh, even the the most simplex um, simple uh, cases and simple situation that uh, is important for people that they want to learn uh, how to do uh, this kind of case uh, better and better, and even for the the concept of uh, uh, using IVUS in, in complex CTO, that uh, uh, you know we have at uh, the beginning. Uh, I think that uh, uh, what you say that the world is converging because at the beginning we have uh, uh, two different approach: the US approach and uh, the the Japanese approach. No, now uh, as a European, we are sort of in the middle, in the middle of these uh, two different approach. Now. Uh, we are, uh, uh, with my experience, uh, I in, for instance, now I'm much more um, pushing myself in the, the, the concept of ADR because I think that uh, uh, I, I, I love to do retrograde, but uh, when you are doing very complex epicardial uh, uh, connection and uh, you know that uh, you can have a complication on that. And so in that situation now, uh, with experience, I know that uh, is much uh, better to to do ADR than going uh, get, that going to try to do uh, a very complex rate okay so I think that the key point uh, uh, of the success is uh, uh, because we, we are doing we are dealing with stable patient and stable patient we don't ha we don't want want to have a complication so uh, this is a very important point and uh, uh, the the great advantage I think to do to be a great city operator is that uh, you have the possibility to use all the strategy, all the techniques. So uh, I think that uh, uh, I'm happy that uh, I uh, I have the feeling uh, to be able to to use a, a complex antrograde approach, uh, complex ADR, IBUS guided, even in antrograde and retrograde thing. I think that if you have this this confidence that you are happy. Uh, you feel confident to to solve the case, even, and uh, you are uh, flexible to change your strategy during the procedure. So, uh, what I like of the this job that you need to think uh, every step to the next step. So, during the case, uh, your mind is really focused on the case, and you need to to be really uh, really fast in your uh, in your thinking in your mind because you need to uh, to be able to to change your strategy uh, very fast and then go back in the previous strategy in order to 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 succeed in the case absolutely and actually you've been one of the first people to very intently use intravascular imaging i was for cto pci and that he's really now of course do it all the time but when you started it was actually not quite as accepted so what made you to want to do this, what, what, how did you try this? What motivated you to use more imaging and become very expert in this particular area? Yeah, I think that this was even the the we start from the beginning because uh, we uh, we start uh, uh, with the with the teaching of Japanese operator. They were uh, they perform IBUS in every case when they come in in Italy, and so I have this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, when you have a, a mentor. That uh, that teach you to use uh, the importance of of, of imaging, uh, and then you follow you follow this this route, and then you can understand that that uh, it's really, it's true. Because at the beginning, I think that the problem of people that they want to use IVUS that they don't understand the image, uh, they don't understand the value, they don't they they think that they are doing a complex case. And they don't want to add a complication to the complex case, but they don't understand that uh, IBUS can can solve you uh, in some situation uh, big problem. 
But uh, doing that, you need to understand the, the, the image. You need to understand which is the, full, uh, the subintima space. You need to understand uh, where is the connection. And then, and then, you know, at the beginning, if you're not able to understand very well the, uh, the, the imaging, you cannot... The, so the key is the interpretation of Ivo's uh, uh, image. And I can tell you that uh, I think that uh, the more you are experienced, uh, the more you can avoid use of IVUS because you know exactly that, that uh, you can obtain in, uh, in retrograde the fashion, the reverse car, you can obtain the connection even mm -hmm. without IVUS. But the people that can start you, uh, this kind of uh, procedure, I think that uh, the more you are uh, less experienced, the more you need to use IVUS to understand very well. So you can, uh, when you are a great operator, you can, you can avoid it in most of case. Uh, the IVUS for for the connection, you know, but then even if I am believer that IVUS uh, should be used in every case, even in PCI, because you can obtain better stent implantation, better result to follow up. If you want to be uh, competitive with surgery, if you you cannot do left main PCI without IVUS and so on. But uh, uh, talking about CTO, I think that this is the key. So. Uh, uh, that sometimes, if you are you have a great experience, you can avoid. But uh, if you are less experienced, IVUS can help you a lot. Perfect. And I know you've been a great proponent of teaching, and you've done the courses for a number of years and been very well received, and you've been expanding them, and you've been able to condense these learnings for people to uh, absorb a lot of the basic and advanced techniques. So how did that start? How did that happen? And... Um, what are your current plans and the plans for the future on that? Yeah, we started, as I told you, with a small workshop in uh, my hospital. We were five or six. And then uh, we uh, the, there was a sort of growing of the group. The small group became bigger and bigger. And uh, we, uh, with the help of Terumo company, uh, we start Turing City of Summit. Uh, uh, that became, uh, uh, you were there, you were there in the, we were able to invite you, was uh, for me, it was a great honor having you in Turin. And uh, it, we were more than 200 on that, uh, on that meeting. And, uh, uh, and this was uh, for us a great success because uh, uh, at the beginning, people that uh, they came here in, uh, in, the, in the Congress and they, they told me that I cannot understand what you are doing, you uh, so it was a sort of a, a, a circus, you know that they, they can see a, a great operator doing something that for for the the most of of physician is something that is impossible. Uh, just to 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 think about that, the year after year later they they, they came back in Turin. They said, "Oh, okay, now I can understand what you are doing," and then. I can I can predict that you will do that that uh, maneuver. You will use that microcatheter, that guide wire. So this is a sort of a growing of uh, uh, all the all the group of uh, CT operator. This is uh, uh, together with the proctorship was a sort of a, uh, growing together, and uh, uh, and then the, the 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 meeting became bigger and bigger, and this was a great success. Uh, because uh, uh, the, everybody told us that this is the, uh, the the secret of the success of the meeting was the teaching point that uh, uh, we were able to to teach. Like uh, you know, when uh, I'm going proctor uh, in the cat lab, uh, I try to uh, explain every everything. So uh, sort of you know what you think uh, I'm going to to speak. So a, so a sort of a thinking at a loud voice, you know. I, I don't know if uh, I can I can explain in English uh, uh, the concept. No, no, this makes perfect sense. Yes, and uh, yeah, and so uh, they appreciate a lot. So that uh, because they say that uh, sometimes, yeah, uh, they 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 can tell me that uh, uh, you are explaining very well. Then you are doing something different, and then you solve the case. And so that's something that you know that is not so easy to explain why you are doing a, 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 a one technique or, or the other one. But 95% uh, uh, of what you are doing, you can explain. And this is, a, uh, this is I think, very good for proctoring and for the meeting, for the success. Even uh, I think that one another key 
of the su success of the meeting was uh, to create a very uh, great group of friends uh, in all over the world, like like you, like uh, like Caldon, uh, like uh, European guys, and uh, the, there was no uh, everybody was happy to to be involved in the meeting, and uh, we were uh, uh, we went like uh, we have a great uh, collaboration with uh, ML CTO, with Alexander Ran, with Campis Majayeki, and other uh, UK guys. You know, so we have uh, this kind of uh, very good relationship with the, with the other uh, guy in Europe and in US and this is important because when in ja Japan even with Japanese and so when you have this kind of uh, great relationship with them and then you, you bring to the meeting the best city operator in the world so you know that uh, the quality of the meeting is fantastic and uh, people uh, uh, they they really appreciate the quality of the of that no, absolutely. Can attest that you know it's been tremendously done, and in all the aspects. And actually, enjoy that you expanded it from CTO to CTO and SIP, because that also makes more people um, potentially learning. Because CTO is one area, but there are other areas that relate to CTO and complexity that don't necessarily cover the CTO. So, again, congrats for doing that. It's been a tremendous trip, and again, thanks for having us involved. I mean, tremendously enjoyed it, and also learned a lot. Plus, Turin chocolate is amazing. So. <laughs> Thank so, you. thank you, Max. Uh, so, so Roberto, um, you obviously do a lot of live cases. You go proctoring. You run the meeting. You publish papers. If someone comes to you today and says, "Look, I want to learn CTO PCI," how do you advise them to go? Yeah, and uh, uh, I, I think that. Uh, uh, now the advantage of young operator that uh, uh, on respect of what we have done 15 years ago, as I told you, that uh, uh, now we, uh, they have the great many many great advantages. So the first one is that uh, the, the devices, the toolbox is much more uh, rich. We have very good material now. We have more uh, very uh, better micro catheter, better guide wire. We have guide extension that we didn't have it before. So we have very long procedure in the past to make the connection. Now with the guide extension, you can do very easily. So so the procedure is faster, is more uh, predictable, and they have the disadvantage. Then they have the advantage of uh, have a good proctor. So they can, they, they can learn uh, faster than us. Uh, the problem is that I think that, uh, and, and that one, it can, can be, interesting to discuss even with you that uh, uh, we have uh, is is difficult in uh, in this field to have very good randomized trial that uh, give us the scientific uh, we know that we, we know that patient comes here uh, to our uh, uh, hospital that they they have some problem they have uh, uh, they suffering from angina and then after that they stay better so we know that but we have a lack of uh, uh, scientific data because it's quite impossible to have a very good randomized trial with uh, uh, a good selection of patients. So like EuroCTO, you know, EuroCTO, we have 1,200 of, uh, um, of uh, um, people that, uh, patients that need to be enrolled. And after 400, it was closed because it was so slow the recruitment because you know that uh, every city operator then uh, were not able to to put in the study the the the, the patient that really need to be re revascularized so on that problem like the problem of revived study so uh, I, I mean uh, that for young operator can be more complex to have uh, to to be uh, to be pushed by the by the, the hospital by the, the the chief of the cardiology to do this case because they can say no the, uh, uh, this case is too complex is too risky uh, we think that medical therapy is enough so this is uh, on the other hand uh, something that can make a uh, problem for the young operator to start this project so when uh, uh, coming back to your question I think that uh, 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 one suggestion is uh, to to do some uh, uh, to to take some time in in a center when the with the when where they are doing many cases many CTO cases 
follow one expert, uh, try to be proctored by, by this expert, and, uh, and then uh, try to do this case uh, in, uh, in your cat lab with the help uh, of the proctor and go on in the process of uh, uh, learning and doing this kind of case. But uh, this can be uh, a certain point, some complex for the reason that, uh, that uh, I told you before. Now, when you go to a cath lab at your proctor or someone comes to you, when you look at them, can you tell this is going to be a great city operator, this one is not? Can you tell at first glance or in the first few minutes or hours you work with them or is it something that comes up later on? Yeah, I think that uh, we you can understand uh, really fast. Uh, there's someone that has something more and that can it can be a great operator so now now in italy uh, in italy is something different from us so uh, for us being proctor uh, you you can scrub with the with your colleague and then and then you, you can follow uh, you can be uh, beside him but then you can work so if he's not able to do that you can you can work so they can they can uh, look at your, uh, they can watch you working and then, uh, so can be uh, the beginning that you you work. They they can watch you, and then uh, the second step they work, and you stay beside. Uh, uh, you stay on the right of them, and then if they have some problem, you can you you can do uh, some part of the procedure, and then in the um, going uh, in a in the next session uh, they will be able to do the case, and you stay you stay outside in the cat lab just to to make some suggestion. But you can understand clearly for the beginning who is able to do uh, to be in the future a great operator or not so uh, the it, it, you know, is like a thing that uh, uh, probably uh, everybody can uh, can drive a car everybody can drive a car you know can have a license for driving a car but uh, uh, some, there's someone else that have something more they they, they are going to to have a, to be able to do a race and uh, uh, and then a little few people they can be able to do Formula One, you know. So it's a sort of step step up in the in, uh, in this job. So we know that CTO are the most challenging procedure in interventional cardiology. So we know that, and even you know that uh, I think that is even your your feeling. Uh, uh, all people doing structural disease and now uh, structural is a, is a big huge market. Uh, of strutter and is uh, is fantastic for our patient because if you are do, performing a, a TAVI and then the patient completely change is uh, uh, you know is uh, the is follow up so and uh, is is fantastic but the procedure in it itself is not so complex like like doing CTO so everybody know that and everybody know that uh, is not for everybody doing this kind of complex case but we know that uh, you can uh, reach. Like eighty percent of success doing CTO from the beginning uh, and up to the mid level of complexity, and then a uh, few people can do really really complex case. But uh, uh, if you are if you are really interested in that, you know that I have some like two or three that I, I want to uh, to organize next year in Turing uh, proctoring with you with some good guys that uh, they are you know they have a mindset doing that they they want to study every day they they study your manual they they look they want to be proctored and then another concept that uh, i want to to show is a sort of uh, uh, you know remote remote proctoring uh, i try uh, one month ago in italy for the first time and uh, this you know that with the smart glasses we can do uh, this kind of remote proct this is a part of a last step because uh, it is something different to be inside the cat lab and the people, uh, the, the physician work, uh, but you are in the cat lab to solve the problem. And then it's completely different if you are uh, at uh, uh, 600 kilometer far away mm -hmm. and you, you uh, help him uh, and then you can uh, uh, make suggestion and they, uh, he, you can be close to him, but you are not in the cat lab. So this is a, a sort of, I think, uh, the future. I will I will see this kind of uh, proctoring will be great because uh, we can proctor more people and they can be uh, pushed to be uh, to do something uh, by by themselves. 
without uh, the you know the help of someone expert inside the cat lab and this worked well and you see it grow in the future yeah 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 perfect exactly so um at this point, uh, in terms of CTO PCI, techniques are standardized, as you say, a lot of teaching opportunities. But um, how are you able to keep up the strength, the physical strength that it takes, right? And uh, keeping up to speed and, stre- and distressing. Well, what do you do uh, to keep your body in good shape for that? Oh, this is this is great because you know that I think that uh, uh, there's something that uh, this question uh, everybody at the beginning that uh, uh, asked me how how can you do uh, this kind of job every day uh, three CTO two CTO ten hour in the cat lab and uh, because you know uh, uh, sometimes I'm I'm going proctoring in a, in, a, in a new hospital and uh, they are performing with me only one case you know so one physician one case and then. The second physician with me, the second, and then the third one, and they say, I, I, "We are exhausted after one case, and you, <laughs> you are so fresh after three cases." This is the, you know, the the experience that because they they need to think many things that you are used to, the to you know to work in the uh, in a, in your comfort zone. That for us uh, is a uh, uh, for me is much more is much easier. Uh, proctory inside the cat lab than be outside the cat lab because I'm I sort of uh, I became boring and uh, and uh, I'm much more uh, you know I think that is uh, adrenaline or uh, something like that I don't know that uh, even if you sleep three hours because you take a flight in in the morning at six o'clock uh, when I'm in the cat lab you know I'm focused on that I can stay five up five hours without any any difficulty and then yeah of course at the end i'm I, i'm tired you know that but uh, i'm doing a lot of sport now uh within the, the last two years i uh, i came off the the public hospital now i'm uh, in much more uh, uh comfortable situation for me uh, i have no no more on call during the night so i told you that uh, for me is much better now and uh, so I think that uh, if you're uh, physically uh, well trained uh, doing sport, and then uh, you can you can have a, and then you need to be lucky. You need to be lucky that you're you're um, you have no problem with uh, with your 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 back, and uh, you can have you can wear your uh, lead apron without any problem. So this is a, another uh, another thing that to take in account. But uh, uh, I think that. Uh, uh, sport is essential uh, uh, to have t- to have time to do that. You know, we we are working a lot, so it's not easy to sure. find the time. But uh, but what now do that for, I'm for doing sports? more, I'm I'm, I'm 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 happy. Yeah. So what do you do for sports? Do you run? Do you go to the gym? Do you row? I know your son is a big rower. Yeah, you know, yeah, my son is uh, in in Boston and uh, is a great rower. Uh, no, now and in this in the last period, yeah, I'm doing gym and uh, I'm playing paddle. You know, paddle in uh, in Europe uh, is a is a sport like te- is a similar t- to tennis, and, uh, and there is a start in Spain and Argentina, and now is a uh, in Europe is uh, we have an explosion of uh, of paddle court, and uh, is is a really uh, is a really great sport that uh, is a sort of a you know you are addicted to to that sport so <laughs> when like CTO you know that when you finish to doing one hour in paddle you want to do again <laughs> so this is nice like CTO and then this help you uh, to 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 stay uh, to to stay well with your uh, with your body and uh, I lose five six seven kilos and uh, I yeah. I run much more and then I think that's nice. <laughs> Well, I think, uh, you know, it's part of the passion, right? You're passionate about CTO. You put everything in it. You're passionate about the sport. So to me, it looks like maybe you get passionate about everything you take, which is the secret to success. But. Yeah, I th- yeah, I, I agree completely, Manos. You know that, uh, uh, yeah, the passion is, uh, I think, everything. And I want to, to, uh, to I think, to teach to my, to my family, to my son. Uh, I have four guys, you know that. And uh, it's something that that you don't need to to speak about that, but they can understand. Uh, watching you every day, that you put passion in your uh, in your work, in your job, and uh, I think that 
I was uh, telling them from the beginning, like to my wife, that, that uh, I think that we are doing the best uh, job in the uh, in the world. I think that uh, there's nothing better than doing interventional cardiologists. Then uh, I I was telling uh, from the beginning that uh, that for me this is a job that uh, I will do for free, uh, you know, because it's a sort of, is is something different from uh, from other jobs, you know that. Uh, but then so the passion is essential doing that. So uh, we need to because otherwise you 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 cannot do every day this kind of job if you don't don't have this kind of passion and um, and and then this I think that is what we. We can uh, uh, we can have when when you are meeting together we discuss together uh, when I'm 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 looking at you that uh, you you have the same feeling on that so every time you want to like we meet in Boston for TCT for uh, for Animal Lab it was so funny that we 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 have fun together to do something that uh, uh, the the other people are not able to do that so I think that this is the secret. And what excites you the most right now? Yeah, now I, have, uh, uh, I think that uh, um, I'm thinking that uh, uh, we want to, I want to, um, to reach, I think that we can reach a sort of 100% of success in our case in, uh, in CTO. And, uh, uh, and this is, a, uh, I'm, I'm the feeling that uh, uh, we can do that. In the um, sort of, uh, you know, uh, we are talking uh, a lot about investment procedure. So wh- when everything fail, you are doing, uh, we, we start from, uh, we learn from Antonio Colombo, uh, the concept of star. So Sabinti, and that, that he learns from, uh, you know, from peripheral uh, radiology, interventional radiologist. Uh, I think it was Amambolia, the first one that performed uh, uh, Sabintimal uh, reentry with the soft polymeric wire in the in the femoral artery on the on the the distal uh, the distal leg yeah and uh, uh, i think that uh, i have the feeling that in my experience because i have the feeling of uh, many cases i've done in the last period that uh, we can reach almost the night the 100% of success when we fail in uh, uh, all our uh, uh, Classical strategy that means antegrade, complex antegrade, ADR, retrograde, so on, and we can do we can do uh, knuckling, we can do uh, distal reentry, but then not like investment investment procedure. Uh, I mean, not like doing again after eight eight uh, weeks try to open the artery, but uh, uh, just stenting the proximal cap even. With the, with the stent in the subintima space. So we start from the intra, intra plaque. Uh, we, we need to stand the proximal cap. And then, so the inflow need to be stented and then we, we need to have very good distal outflow uh, ballooning and uh, at the level of re-entry. So in my experience, when you are doing uh, this kind of procedure and uh, uh, you avoid to stent, you, you, know, you have like timid to flow. Then, when you put a short stand in just in the proximal cap, opening this proximal cap, you avoid that the plaque collapse in the in the uh, in the next two months, and then you have a great result even uh, at follow up. So, a sort of a, a bailout treatment, uh, but not like investment, but like a, a final treatment for the patient. And we want to to push this kind of a, a strategy. In the in the, in the situation as a bailout situation, and uh, we need to have data. Uh, you know that you are a master on the the importance of scientific data. So we were uh, we were we, we want to do that, and it will be great even to to collaborate with you if you are interested to do that. We need to. I think that we do, it's a sort of you know this can be really a revolution uh, strategy. For uh, for the future, because in that situation, then we we need to have follow up for this patient, and you know if you if you we are able to confirm this feeling, we uh, really can can obtain uh, almost the one hundred percent of success in our in our procedure. This is a, a something that uh, for me is a is a new you know new step for the future that uh, will be a great uh, great. Uh, uh, success if we can confirm uh, that uh, this feeling is is uh, is right. 
Perfect. And then switching gears, what is your favorite uh, book? You have a favorite book and a favorite movie? Ah, fa yeah, we have, uh, uh, you know, the favorite movie is, uh, uh, you know, is a gladiator. Like, you know, that, uh, mm -hmm. that is, a, is a, with, uh, with, uh, Russell Crowe and, uh, Absolutely. A, yeah. And, uh, the different movie where, uh, different for, for the book, we have the, 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 the classic Italian, Italian, uh, we have a, a long history of, uh, of writer and, uh, we have the, the classic, we have many classical, uh, writer in Italy and uh, that we have uh, have many of this uh, of this classical book that uh, we can uh, we 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 study in the when we were young and then sometime we go back to 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 read again and again and again and then and then we have some uh, some new writer in Italy that uh, every year we can uh, we can use it but uh, i think that the classical uh, it's fantastic for uh, for, uh, I think that even for young that can understand the importance of uh, of literature that we can have uh, in Italy. So we have uh, we have Dante, we have Divina Commedia, we have uh, uh, romance uh, of uh, 18th century, and uh, we have Alessandro Manzoni. We have, the, we have many many classical uh, literature in Italy. So, what are you most most proud of from both in medicine and outside medicine? Yeah, the, about uh, about medicine in general, uh, about uh, the about the, our. Uh, uh, I think that uh, in, in medicine we have uh, a sort of. Uh, uh, I think that uh, we have the the development uh, that we can have. We we had in the in the in the cardiology. I think that we have some. Uh, we have some many fields with medicine have uh, great great uh, uh, improvement. And uh, uh, we have a thing that uh, uh, in oncology, for instance, uh, uh, the medical therapy uh, and uh, uh, made great, great improvement for uh, for the health of people. And uh, and even that uh, the other point is that we need to uh, uh, evaluate. We, we need to go. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm able to explain, but uh, uh, something that uh, uh, we we can we can uh, understand uh, ever uh, uh, we can understand better from the beginning before before the the disease uh, that uh, the 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 prevention the prevention that we can have for in, in in oncology and the treatment that we have I think that uh, uh, we have some in hematology we have a very good new new uh, treatment uh, that can improve the life of our patient and uh, in cardiology i think the other the other uh, field that uh, we were uh, really uh, uh, focused on that because it's uh, our life in the last uh, 20 years and that uh, was the the concept of uh, uh, the treatment of myocardial infarction so we, we it's make the difference because uh, every day we are working with our patient and and uh, uh, we see every day that now uh, the quality of life of our patient uh, uh, with the, the with what we achieve with the, the primary PCI with acrylary syndrome and now with the the, the advantage of uh, a complete revascularization we can obtain with the uh, with the uh, the our uh, ability to obtain this complete revasc is another very good point or even the the, the treatment of structural disease we can have uh, now in the past it was uh, we were not able to to treat this kind of patient now we can treat patient with aortic severe aortic stenosis even they are uh, 19 years old or uh, uh, now in the future we were, we are moving we are pushed the boundary in the even for the treatment of uh, uh, mitral disease of a tricuspid disease so uh, people with art, with congestive heart failure now uh, we have uh, uh, much more uh, opportunity to to give them the the, the possibility to have a very good uh, uh, quality of life with this kind of treatment. Perfect. Well, Roberto, again, and phenomenal. For the, for the, yeah, for the for the yeah for the world. Yeah, now we are in a a, a difficult situation. You know that, and uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, even for the, in Italy. Uh, we uh, we are not we we have some uh, some 
we are worried about uh, the future of young, uh, young generation of that. Uh, because that uh, uh, I don't know that is uh, probably in the US is not is not like like this, uh, but we have many many young young guys that uh, uh, they they need to go outside of Italy if they want to to achieve a very uh, great level of uh, uh, of uh, of their uh, uh, professional status. And uh, we have uh, I think that in Italy we have uh, we have great guys great with uh, great minds great mindset but they they need to go outside so uh, this is not because uh, we have not a great help uh, about uh, about uh, about uh, the, our country you know that my son is going to to us for uh, uh, for the great opportunity that uh, us they, they give united states give to young um, young guys from uh, uh, from outside from uh, europe so uh, will be i will be uh, more happy if uh, the, there will be the possibility to increase the level of uh, uh, of, uh, of the of, of, of the study for the, for for young people that they they don't need to go outside for uh, the, the for in growing of their professional status and this is a something that can is a sort of concern for the future of that guy but i think that you know uh, something that uh, uh, we uh, had ever uh, in, in in the life so uh, there's a sort of uh, uh, great um, uh, uh, is not uh, you know that uh, there's a sort of uh, mm, it's not easy uh, but the uh, they the young guys they need to to find their way and uh, uh, it's not easy to 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 find to to be uh, to be ready to to do that in Italy, and so uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, the same for everybody. So, if someone that have more possibility to do that, uh, they have more passion to do that, they will be able to to have a great success in the future. And this is a I think that is is a is the life everyday life. So, this is a life for 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 everybody. No, completely agree. The cross pollination, seeing other ways to do things, clearly opens your mind and makes you much more successful. No question about that. So, to summarize again, you've done a phenomenal work in CTO PCI. You've really been a teacher for many, many thousands of people around the world. And uh, if you had to summarize it in a couple of key points for the people to take home, what would those be? Yeah, for the, uh, I think that uh, I need, if I need to summarize, say uh, try to be focused on what you want to do. And uh, uh, that nothing is impossible. So you need to be really, uh, the passion is the key and uh, uh, le the learning is the key. So uh, don't uh, uh, try to, to, to put everything uh, of yourself in what you think that is good for you and think that it is possible to achieve a great result with the with the work with the job with the and this is important that uh, 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 nothing uh, uh, is uh, you know is a gift but you need to to work really hard to obtain uh, what you are you want to 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 achieve and this is important so uh, that uh, don't think that uh, the who, who, who was able to obtain something that uh, he was lucky. So luck is in, uh, is a is a part of life, you know. That uh, so everybody need, need to have luck to to obtain uh, success. But uh, the, the most important part is that uh, you need to really uh, to think that uh, uh, nothing is impossible, and uh, you need to be really uh, focus on your uh, on your uh, objective. What you want to your goal, you want to to achieve and. Uh, and put your passion in uh, uh, everything every day in your uh, in your job. The passion is uh, is essential for that. Wonderful. Could not agree more. Thank you so much again, Roberto, for taking the time today. It could help many people around the world. Thank you so much, and look forward to seeing you at one of the coming meetings. No, it was a great pleasure, Manos, and uh, uh, thank you for everybody. And uh, hope to see you really, really soon. Bye bye. Wonderful. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the Sunset Podcast. 